come. Bathe in the light of my mercy. Welcome back to Morrowind, the Tribunal Expansion. And here is our ex-wife and guard, our Malexia. How are you doing, darling? She doesn't want to talk to us. Like I said, ex-wife. Also, what may I do what for may you? I what do may I do? What may I do for you? What do for you? What may I do for you? Light of my mercy. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. So let's get out of here. In order to continue working with her, we need to wait for 24 hours to pass. We could just do that right here. However, we may as well be productive in that time instead. So let's go and do some missions for the guy who tried to have us assassinated. Also, our bodyguard isn't here. He's still lost somewhere in the sewers under the city. We have no idea where he is, but hopefully he'll come back soon. Justice never sleeps. Morn. So here's the throne room. Let's go talk to the captain. Long live the king. Hi, Deanius Teltian. How are you doing? Let's talk about official matters. Rag, yes, I know your name, and I'm Taintius Deltian, captain of King Helisef's royal guards. I have influence with King Helisef, and King Helisef is known for awarding his friends. I have official matter that you may be able to help me with. First off, I'm pretty sure that your trick that your king tried to have me assassinated. I won't pretend that I don't know about this, of course I'll deny it publicly, but don't take it personally, you appear to present a threat to King Helisef. Perhaps mistakes were made, but you can prove that there were mistakes if you prove your loyalty to the king. Yeah, sure thing, why not? There are rumours among the people that King Lethrin's death, rumours that Arthur and Lethrin did not die a natural death. There's no truth in them, of course. Speak to people about his death. You are not known to be my representative, so they may be more candid with you. Did he die a natural death? There is absolutely no evidence to suggest that Arthur and Lethrin died anything but a natural death. I assure you, Absolutely no evidence. Sure thing, let's take care of this. So, the current king blatantly had his father assassinated, just like he tried Justice to have us assassinated. But let's do this quest for the hell of it. So, let's go ask around in God's Reach first. And then, if we can't find out anything, we'll go to the bazaar. Hi, Welcome to Mournhold, City of the Lady of Mercy. It is truly a pleasure to see you, thank you. Tell me about King Lethran's death. May his spirit rest among his ancestors, but he was king in name only. The Dunma do not and never have submitted to kings like the Westerners, regardless of what the Empire says. How about you? Show respect, Sarah. Sure thing, I respectfully ask you about the king's death. He was old, but not that old. Maybe he just died, like they said, but maybe someone helped him along. There's a broadside sheet called the Common Tongue. In there it says that Helseth poisoned hundreds of people when he was in the West, so why not here? We have one of those we picked from up when we were in the sewers, so let's read a little bit of it. This broadsheet is a newsletter copied on cheap paper featuring sensational events in the city of Mournhold. One article describes a list of individuals who died under suspicious circumstances when their interests conflicted with those of a former Prince of the West. The reference is clearly King Helseth, King of Morrowind, formerly Prince Helseth of the Kingdom of Rayrest in the province of High Rock. A poet can have no higher purpose than to tell the truth about the human condition, Lord Vivek. I approve our old friend. So here is a list featuring several people who all died under very suspicious circumstances of purely natural deaths, of course. We're not going to bother to read through all of it. Justice never. How sleeps. nice! I like good company. What can I do for you? Hello, High Pockets. Who are you? Damn those villainous k braid Nord! I hate him. I swear by the teeth of Moloch Bar himself, I'll have my revenge on that corpus licking ignoramus. Hormar inside that bar here. I came in for a drink, minding my own damn business, when that guar loving drunkard started raving and making fun of me. He grabbed me by the shirt, slid me across the bar, and then kicked me out of the door. He'll be singing all of Saroni's sermons at once when I've had my revenge. Yes, that bastard of a toad sucking coxcomb. How would you like to help me out and go in there and teach that flea bitten, damp worm infested Nord a lesson of his life? Sure, let's do it. Fantastic! Uh, you're bigger than me, so I'll follow you. He's right inside the bar. Well, someone picking on our race. 
They deserve to be punched in the face by the Nerofreen. No worries, I won't hurt you. Ask your question. What's this? Who, who's there? Give me another drink, you cockerain bastard. Hey, hey, that must be that blasted wood elf I tossed out here with you, right? <laughs> that stupid little wood elf back for back for another round, eh? Once not enough for you, you dumb tree frog of an elf. I'll take you on and that ugly wood elf friend too. Well, if you're going to insult our race this much, you deserve to be punched in the face. It'll be your blood here, not mine. Aren't you the uppity one? Alright, have at it. Well, let's take off Goldbrand. We don't want to kill the guy. We just want to teach him a lesson. You should run now. <coughs> yeah, our friend's helping us. We just have to be careful when we knock him down that we don't hit him another time. So we're just going to do um, big no hits instead. Challenge me. There we go. And now let's just punch into the wall. Because if we attack him again, he might become aggressive. This is unexpected, but not unwelcome. That was quite Please satisfying. I'm sorry I had to involve you in this. Ah, no problem. I enjoyed it. Let's see. Am I interested in some work? Sure thing. Yes, while well, you see, my usual bouncer grub didn't show today. Probably got lost in the pavilion again, the orcish ninny. Anyway, would you be willing to stand in for him? All you have to do is make one sweep through the bar crowd. If memory serves, we don't get that many people coming in this time of night. Sure thing, I'll be a bouncer. Fantastic, here's all you have to do. Go around and talk to everyone in the bar. If they're too drunk or unruly or just a bad character, throw them out. Report back to me when you're done. How can I help? I'll do what I can. Are you drunk? Hey, watch it. Why are you harassing me? I ain't done nothing to you, you damn dirty wood elf, always causing problems. That's right, I've never met a wood elf I liked. I say we should just ship them all back to wherever they came from and build a wall between us and them. Who's with me? Man, the political commentary we could make on this. Also, you're a wood elf. D do you not notice that? Never mind. So, would you calm down a bit? Okay, I guess just because you asked me so nice. Bartender, give me another shoe's armor, so I can just sit here and drink all quiet like the good wood elf says. Right, we don't have to kick this guy if out since he's already I can do, down I'm on the floor. We'll just leave him there. How about you? Are you drunk? Nope, you're not drunk. Nice to see you. Well, nice to see you as well. Tell me about the latest rumors. Well, we can't ask him about rumors, never mind. How about you? Nope, you're not drunk. Tell me about the latest rumors, advice, and secrets. Whatever you do, don't play cards with Gorm Sellers. He's a hustler, just moved here from Vorenfell. He thinks he can outdistance his reputation, but a friend in Sadov Mora tipped me off. I wish he would just leave. He's putting a damper on the action. Right, you're Sellers this guy. the name. Shells the game. Yeah, well, I heard that you're a hustler. You're gonna have to stop, Galms. I know you're hustling, people. Damn, who told you? Come on, buddy, don't be too hard on me. I was just trying to make a few extra gold. Look, if you let me stay, I promise I'll give everyone fair odds. I'm good for it. If anyone complains that I'm cheating, they can tell Hessian, and I'll be out here in an instant. Okay, sure, why not? Let's wager a hundred gold. Keep an eye on the coin. Ah, oh, too bad. Yeah, he's probably not actually, um, increased the odds in the slightest. How about you? Are you drunk? <laughs> I like what I see. Nope. He's just too busy to talk. Okay, I think we've dealt with everyone. We've calmed down a drunk, and we've, uh, solved somebody trying to hustle people. <laughs> this is a rare honor. You okay? No nice. I like good company. What can I do for you? You sorted out all the problems? Yeah, I think so. Fantastic, you took care of a drunk and a hustler to stop hustling. Grub couldn't have done it better himself. Here's your payment. Thanks, lady. I didn't get rid of this guy, but, you know, I don't think he's going to cause any trouble for a while. Now then, while we're here, there's one other important quest we want to do, and I think it's in here. In Sadri Manor. Mornhold. City of light. City of magic. Greetings, I am Tadia Andules, and you're, are you an acquaintance of Godlin Surrey? If so, perhaps you'll have better luck talking to her than we have. The poor dear. We've done what we can for her, but she's... Well, she's just not right in the head. 
No idea what could have happened. She was always such a sweet girl. Now she just babbles to herself. And she's lashing out at one of us. Hi, lady. Get out now. I know you. You're one of them. You can't fool me. Well, you'll never get your hands on it. It's safe from the likes of you. From all of you thieves. There's nothing for you here. Get out. I've heard talk up at the temple. Farms. And it's not good. I'm sorry you had to see that. She's been like this for months now, and no one can seem to get through to her. We have no idea what it is or why she's becoming so paranoid about it. Any attempt to discuss the matter with her has ended badly. Some even violently. That's why we bring a guard with us whenever we come to visit. As a friend of the family, I can't just leave her on her own devices. I've heard, however, that she has been talking to Albert Nermo recently. Perhaps he might know more. He's the enchanter working over at the Craftsman Hall. I have no idea what business he would have with her. But if he's been making an, eff an effort to visit him, then perhaps he may have some insight into her condition. Sure thing, we'll go and have a chat with him. We haven't been to the Craftsman's Hall yet. We, that is where we're able to make ourselves some uh, custom-made glass and ebony armour. So I think the guy is upstairs. Nope, that's not him. Yeah, you're the one. Good whistling. Let's put you up a little bit and then ask you about this lady. No, I want nothing to do with her. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted me to go and see her. I'm not going anywhere near her again after what happened. It was fine when she showed up first, asking about enchantments and such. But when she had me look at those strange devices, it was clear I'd gotten in over my head. Yes, as I said, I started out with simple questions. She show up every now and then, acting a little odd, asking about what would become involved in enchanting various sorts of objects. I assumed she had been passing an interest in the subject, until she begged me to visit her manor to help her with something she was working on. There were more than a dozen of them strewn about the place. I'd never seen anything like them before. Maybe they were a dreamer in origin. I stepped closer to one of them to get a better look and it shocked me badly at that. It took several hours to regain the feeling in my left arm. At the time I stumbled and fell, only to hear her laughing manically. She was upset that they weren't strong enough. When I've recovered a bit, I tried asking about what she was up to and she exploded at me, accusing me of being a spy or trying to steal from her. She ran, out, she ran me out of the manor and I haven't spoken with her since, which suits me just fine. Well, it sounds like the lady's been setting up loads of traps. Let's go and deal with them. Must you? This is so tiresome. Okay, for some reason we can't talk to you at the moment. Where's your hitbox? Is this hitbox still over here? Need custom armor. Okay, apparently no one has a hitbox at the moment. Let's get out of here and go back in. Maybe the game will fix itself. Oh no, what's happening? This isn't good. Must you? This is okay, so I think we've armor. broken the game. Okay, let's go somewhere. Oh no, everyone's broken. Now there's people under the ground. What have I done? What have I done to Morrowind? Alright, let's try going back. Oh, this looks bad. I think we need to uh, save and load. Let's try that. Let, let's try quick saving and loading. I don't usually like to load because otherwise we tend to lose progress. Okay, everything's fixed. Good. Must you? This is so tiresome. Are you speaking to me, Wood Elf? I suppose you would want some armor or steel or another, right? Well, why don't you go take your sniveling looks in a grateful tone and talk directly to the smith? I'm just an apprentice. I've got nothing to offer to the likes of you. I don't belong here. That's right, I'm too good for this place. Slaving over a hot forge is a job best left to the plebs. I mean, look at old Balls over there with his torn, sweat and saliva stained shirt, his head like a giant corpus infected melon, and that faltering gait of his like a guar and venerable wart. It's a wonder he even remembers to put his pants on in the morning, it really is. Now, compare him with me. Yes, just look at me. I'm the picture of perfection. Look at these nails. Do you know how much I had to pay those filthy hallow manicures these days? 
Look at the flawless complexion, the ideal proportions of my body. Do you think that God created such an image of majesty for the purpose of blacksmithing? Certainly not, my very naive friend. Clearly I am destined to become an adventurer. Do you mock me, pleb? I aspire to heights greater than you've ever dreamed of. You do know where the Nerevarine, right? Do you think that the monsters and evil men will stand any chance when they behold their ma this, magic this majestic specimen of humanity striding towards them? No, they will quail and faint at the sight of me. I will wave their corpses aside with a swipe of my hand. My greatness is inevitable. In fact, I believe I will start my adventuring just today. Mark my words, Wood Elf. Next time you come around, you won't find me here. Yeah, well, good meeting you too, you jerk. There it is again. Hi, boss. Need custom armor? I'm the one you want. Friend to friend. Sure thing. I see you've already met the acquaint my acquaintance, my charming apprentice, Aloni Fanctus. Aye, he's my apprentice, and my last Imperial apprentice I'll ever be forced into taking, that's for sure. He doesn't do a lick of work, preferring just to sit around cleaning those damn fingernails of his and telling me what a bloody oaf I am. I doubt he'll be around much longer to bother me. He just seems drawn to death like a lodestone. So, tell me about custom armor. So he can make ebony armor, glass armor, and adamantium armor. So we need to supply the raw glass and the money, and then he'll make us custom fit glass armor. Let's take a look at those prices. Here it is. When your life is on the line, you demand the very best, and the very best is custom armors by balls under them. Handcrafted glass, adamantium, and ebony armors, custom fitted to your frame, provide the very best protection. For generations, the Indoor family have provided custom armors for the greatest nobles and warriors in Warnhold, and at a price you can afford. You provide the materials and pay for our peerless craftsmanship, and in 24 hours, you can be wearing your very own custom armor. So here's the prices. It takes us roughly around 100 of the raw materials and a lot of money to make them. I don't know if this stuff is any better than the base glass we have, but I guess we may as well make some later since we're still using some base glass equipment. Now then, since the game is now fixed, let's continue. Oh, what are you doing outside? Seven virtues, Sarah. Rag, you've got to do something. I stepped out for a bit for fresh air, only to hear the door lock behind me. There was some horrible screaming a few minutes ago, but now it's all gone quiet now. No one has answered when I've pounded on the door. We've got to get in there. Well, let's break in. Let's use our master unlocking spell. Oh, we need to recover some more mana first. Oh, well, let's drink one of our mana restoring potions. What's going on in here, then? Well, the High Ordinator's been murdered. And there's a trapdoor to the sewers. So, this is a very easy way to get um, a full selection of the upgraded Ordinator armor. Which is pretty damn good, to be honest. Let's rate it against our own. 160 on the legs. 161, and we're not even good at using heavy armor. So this stuff is incredible. It's also really heavy, though. Well, let's pay respects and leave him with his greaves on. Rest in peace. Our journal has been updated. I've discovered a trap door in the lowest level of Sadri Manor. Galena Sadri is nowhere to be found, and someone has murdered the guard. The Forgotten Sewer. Well, let's get going. So, we did hear that apparently there were traps set up, so we should probably heal up. Let's be a little bit careful while we explore this place. Oh, money. Money. I feel like I'm walking into a trap here, but I'm not going to say no to money. Nice. 
so what did I open up? I don't know if I've actually ever done this quest before, so this is actually all new to me. Ah, maybe we're supposed to jump on these crates to get up there. Oh, let's just levitate this piece here. Nope, there's nothing there. Okay, what was raising the water level for then? Doesn't seem like it's actually done anything. Like the pipe keeps going this way, but I don't think there's any way to get there. I probably should have checked how you actually do this quest. Well, let's see if there's anything on the ground. It doesn't look like we can raise the water anymore. Oh, here we go. Ah, there's a trap door down there. That's what we were missing. Right, let's explore this place. Yep, they look like mines. Well, it's a good thing we're levitating. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, strange device. Let's keep going. I like how that made me jump. Oh, jeez. I did a lot of damage. Okay. This actually spooked me a little bit. I just didn't expect um, to suddenly get those animations when we were... Yeah. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> okay. This time, we're going to do it properly. And we're back and alive. This time, let's try sneaking around. There we go. Sneaking around works far better. Okay, sneaking doesn't work at all, never mind. Right, let's just run through this one with a healing potion. We should be able to make this. We're just gonna run and jump. There we go. We have enough health to survive it. Okay, those chests are clearly a trap, let's not go there. Right, and I see her in the distance. Let's go confront her. This is the end you again! Ah, oh, I've rid myself of the others. None of you will get it. It's mine, I tell you. All mine. Well, let's kill you. Oh. She's reflected a paralyzing effect onto herself. Excellent. Well, this'll be easy. You know what? We may as well shoot with an arrow, then. Train up our marksman a little bit. Need more arrows. Oh, she's free. There we go. Sadly, I think she broke our boots of blinding speed. We're gonna have to repair those. Well, that's why we're carrying the hammers. Right, let's put the boots back on, and then we'll loot her. There we go, far better. I have killed Galena Sadri. She carried a Daedric Longbow, the Mace of Slurring, which is um, an artifact to sell to the museum. So that's the main reason why we came here. And let's strip her down and take her arrows. So poison grip arrow, paralyzed for 20 seconds, and poison 1 to 5 points for 50 seconds. Those are incredible. Let's take them. Also, let's loot her again, and let's take 50 more arrows. Let's loot her again, and take 50 more arrows. 
Let's loot her again. And take 50 more arrows. That should be enough. So yeah, you can get unlimited arrows from her. And these ones are incredibly overpowered, so we probably won't really be using them as a result. Alright, let's arm Sivy Intervention out of here. There's no way we're running back through all those traps. It's another perfect day in Mournhold. Well, tell us about the perfect days in Mournhold. Apparently a perfect day consists of a new strange disease going around. Nero Andoran, one of our healers in the temple, seems to think it has something to do with rats. You don't look like someone who's afraid of rats. Maybe you can talk to her and offer your help. Excellent. So this quest becomes available to us um, as soon as we have been to that strange tomb underneath the temple when we had that message about being able to smell something weird. It's another perfect day. Alright, it's not the woman in the infirmary we need to speak to. Health and healing are my specialties. There we go. Hello, Rag. Interested in the rumours circulating around the city? I can say that I consider them to be exaggerations of the truth. Several people have fallen ill lately, to be sure, but it is hardly the epidemic people are making it out to be. As long as you're here, however, I perhaps I could have a small favour of you. Yes, the whole thing has been blown out of proportions. In my opinion, that does not mean, however, that I am not taking it seriously. Believe me, the temple is keeping a close eye on the situation, as am I. Yes, well, it's not much really, a simple delivery that needs to be made. Actually, John Orlean reported being ill earlier this week, yet refuses to come to the temple for healing. Such nonsense about a collection of his. At any rate, if he will not come to us, then we must take the initiative and go to him. Sure thing, let's deliver this cure disease potion. Yes, I know it's a menial task, most likely beneath your stature. I take it myself, but I need to stay here in case anyone else arrives needing assistance. Oh, it's fine. We're always willing to help people. So we're going to have to deliver some um, disease curing temporarily, and then we'll be able to go and kill the thing that's causing it. And then we can get ourselves another artifact, like the Mace of Slurring, just. Since there are a few um, museum artifacts in Tribunal as well. Seven virtues, Sarah. And I think I forgot to speak God's to somebody. God's justice, Sarah. About, um, where is it? King Lefran's death. Yep, there we go. Hi there. Speak the truth. And all shall honour you. Oh dear, poor Tadra, poor Galena. If only there was something more we could have done for her, but I understand, Rag. You had no choice but to defend yourself. You did the right thing. She was too detached from reality to recognise you, or probably anyone for that matter, so don't feel guilty. Don't worry, we don't. What can I do for you, friend? Take this potion. Thank you so much, I'll be able to return to my work in full health. Give my regards to Nereal. So he's a collector of fine artifacts, and he wants a rare Droth Dagger. Sure, I'll help. Excellent, here's what I can tell you. Anza Fadus has recently been widowed. Her husband, Sandus, was a local nobleman, but he amassed quite a bit of debt during his waning years. His, death, his debt was left, was left with the widow, with quite a financial burden. As such, she may be willing to part with the dagger for money. This is an incredibly petty quest, so we're just going to get this out of the way. Hi, lady. So much to do, so little time. Is this about the estate sale? It's not quite ready yet. Well, we're after a particular item. A draft dagger? Well, that's quite a coincidence. My husband did, in fact, own one. A rare item, I've learned. I honestly have no idea where he got it, and I frankly don't like the look of the thing. So how about 600 gold? Sure thing. Be on the lookout for Jiren Orlean though, he's a very nasty little man who has been after it for quite some time now. I ended up refusing to sell it to him out of spite. Well, we'll sell it to him because we don't care about such things. Yep, take the dagger. 800 gold, quest done. Let's get out of there now. So let's get a few more side quests while we're here. Let's go to the vacant manor. Most of these different houses have a quest relating to them. Scramflower. 
You've no business being here, Wood Elf. I suggest you turn around, go out the way you came in, and forget you ever saw us. Hmm, at a second glance, perhaps I shouldn't be so dismissive. You seem a rather resourceful sort. We're, um, we're invest investing in the future, you see. The city right now exists in a blanket of fear. A blind guar can see the tension between the Imperials and the Temple, and it will soon be boiling over into the streets. When that happens, it's going to be every Wood Elf for himself, yes? Well, we're stockpiling for just that occasion, which is certainly inevitable at this point. Well, what can I do to assist you? I'm sure you've noticed this man, strutting around as if he were Lord Vivek himself. Of course, no one mentions the horrible things he's done to get to where he is. And for what? He's just another noble, something Mournhold has no use for. But the tools he's used to stomp on others and get to where he is today. Now those Mournhold has use for. Indeed, I have use for them. Would you be willing to go and get them? So this guy just wants us to go around murdering people. You know what? I'm not a fan of that. What? Too timid for a challenge? Very well. Then I'd suggest that you do not return here, and I'd also suggest that you don't tell anyone. You in I told you not to come back, didn't I? I'm afraid I can't tolerate this disrespect. You know what? Let's shoot him with one of these arrows we just got. Where are all of his... Ah, there they are. Hi. <laughs> I forgot it was an area effect poison. Yeah, this, these arrows are incredible. You guys okay? How about I just finish you off? There we go. I have killed him. Excellent. So these guys would have wanted us to go around and murder loads of people to give them equipment so that they can uh, steal all that armor and weapons without even having to do any busy work for it. And I mean, if you're going to want people's army, you can at least have the decency to murder them yourself. Lazy criminals. We can hear some dreamer constructs in here. Let's go have a look. The Nine and the Empire, citizen. Hello there, Wood Elf. I imagine you've come to see the battles of a robot arena. I'm sorry to inform you that there won't be any more battles for some time, unless you can figure a way to help me repair my bots. My enchanting skills are incomparable, but after so much wear and tear from fighting each other, my robot's simply in need of some new parts. Would you be interested in helping me acquire the parts I need? Sure thing. Glad to hear it. If you bring me ten pieces of Dreamer scrap metal, I can fashion the parts I need on my own. When I get the bots repaired, perhaps I can let you watch a fight. With my mastery of exotic enchantments, I was able to reanimate several war bots recovered from the Dreamer ruins. Now I present robot exhibits for people whenever I can. Mournhold citizens refer to my entertainments as the Robot Arena. And they rank their matches on damage, style, control and aggression. Hi, lady. You have your nerve walking right in here. <laughs> okay, she's probably one of the few NPCs in the game who's reacted to us in a, like, legit way for just barging into their house. Hello, Wood Elf. I don't know what you think you're doing casually walking into my home like this, but since you're here, you haven't happened to see my husband hanging around anywhere. My husband has recently developed a bad habit of heading out late at night and not returning until the morning. If he returns at all, I don't know what to think. I'm worried he's cheating on me. Do you think you can find him and follow him and let me know what he's up to? Sure thing. Maybe you can find out what he's doing. I've heard he can sometimes be found hanging out in front of a winged gra tavern, doing Vivek knows what. Head there and tail him, but don't get too close. If he thinks someone's following him, he'll immediately suspect me. Just find out what he's doing, and if there's a woman, I don't know, do what you have to. Report back to me when you're done. Sure thing. I think that's the guy. I have located Taranandu and sneaking around Ghost Reach. I'm going to follow him. Well, let's do it his way. I'm not sure how close I can get. Let's watch him from the trees.
Now you interloping. You naughty, naughty man. I followed Tawananda and through Ghost Reach. He's met with a strange woman and talked to her for a few minutes. I heard laughing and it sounds like they were agreeing to meet later. Perhaps I should report this to his wife. So we could go over to them right now and confront them ourselves and kill her. But that seems like a little bit too much of a brush step. Let's tone it down a, a step. Well, what's going on? I knew it! That scrib sucking cheat! Well, thank you for following him for me, Wood Elf. I only wish you could have taken care of that brazen hussy he's seeing. But no matter, I'll deal with that worthless husband of mine myself. Here's your payment. Thank you. Right, so we have now done most of the side quests. I'm trying to think of which ones are left. We haven't been in there yet. Let's go in there. This is a wondrous encounter. If you're here to offer Welcome. your respects, speak to Ravina Lefren, the King's Widow. Ah, so this is the King's house. Hi, lady. We must endure our sorrows. Have a hundred gold. So then, tell me about your husband's death. They murdered him. Hellseth and his spiders. Everyone knows and no one lifts a finger. Imperial Justice. Ha! I spit on Imperial Justice. They killed my husband and now that wicked man is a king. I curse Hellseth and all of his kin. May they die tomorrow, weeping, watching their children die today. So we could just offer our condolences. But you know what? We're going to vow to avenge his death. Bless you. May fortune smile on your blade. There are others among my husband's friends who will not rest until justice is done. I shall mention your name to them. Thank you. So, we are totally going to murder the king. Because first off, he sent Dark Brotherhood assassins after us, and we're not just going to let that go. And secondly, we don't even really need a reason, he sent Dark Brotherhood assassins after us. That's more than enough reason for me. But yeah, he's also a murderer, so... We'll deal with him for that as well. Need custom armor? I'm the Not one you want. I expected. Damn that ill that him. A lonely Foster's. Damn him. Damn that cockered scrib sucking son of a hammerfell whore. He left me just a few hours without so much of a wave goodbye. Just walked out the door. Well, good riddance, I suppose. But I still need an apprentice. If you find any able bodied young people looking for work, let them know I need a new apprentice. Sure thing. Also, while we're here, let's go and see if we can have a chat with this guy about those traps. I was sorry to hear what happened to her, but I must say that I'm glad that you're alright. Ah, friend! How does the day meet? Salutations, Wood Elf. Would you like to look over my wonderful collection of clutter? Perhaps you would even consider helping me fill out my collection. Ah, beautiful, glorious clutter. I can't get enough of it. You know what I'm talking about, Traveller. Clutter is everywhere, and it's everywhere you look. Tamriel's residences are filled with enough worthless housewares to choke a wild cagote. Tables full of plates and utensils. Bottles upon bottles upon bottles. Barrels and baskets filled with pillows. These are my consuming passion. I'm a collector, you see, and I think my collection of Morrowind's clutter is virtually complete. Take a look around. While my shelves are full of Morrowind's clutter are impressive, they are not yet definitive. I'm looking to recruit a brave and stalwart adventurer to become my champion of clutter, venturing into the world and seeking the items I need to complete my collections. Are you interested? Of course, I will reward you well. I've got more important work than chasing after utensils. Well, we've basically been doing what this guy's doing, so... We're no one to talk. Fabulous. I require two items from my Imperial collection at the moment. The first is a bolt of Imperial rat hair fabric. It is easy to recognise by its burgundy colour and a diamond pattern on the side. The second is a brushed silver pitcher. Please return when you have these items. Should you need something, I would be happy to oblige. I do like your clutter. How fair these I friends. approve. If I'm pretty sure you could fit more stuff in between the stuff you've already got. Tidings and Now then, let's go in here. I 
and let's have a chat with this red guard. You seem to be doing all right for yourself. What can I do for you? Here, have some money. Hi there, would Elf care to drink away your troubles with me? Well, my life isn't exactly gold can I sunshine happy at the moment. More like Burgundy's Bane bummer. I got laid off on my job at the pillow factory last week. The market for pillows has really bottomed out the last few years. Turns out that the average family home doesn't need 25 pillows per person like we originally thought. Who knew the market would turn out so sour suddenly? It didn't take long for the money guys in the exquisites upstairs to burn through all of our pillow venturing capital. Offices in the best Telvani towers, 1,500 septum chairs upholstered in the finest scamp skin, and unlimited stores of maize. We would spend 16 hours a day or more in there doing what we loved, crafting pillows. It was a dream come true for me. Ever since I was a young lad, I dreamed of creating the perfect pillow. Well, those days are over now. I need to find more work. What's that? Bowles Indolin of the Craftsman's Guild is looking for a new apprentice. Hmm, well it's not making pillows, but it is work. I just might try that out. Thanks, Wood Elf. Next time you see me, perhaps I'll be working at the Smith shop. Have a drink on me. Thanks, mate. So here's the person. Those wounds don't look too serious, but you seek healing. <laughs> Stereo. So this is the guy who the uh, murderer told us to go and kill. But since we can only say goodbye to him, we would have had to murder him. So we would have uh, got ourselves a bounty just for randomly killing some innocent person. So yeah, I think we made the right decision by killing those criminals instead. Now then, let's get a move on. I think we've done everything we wanted to do in here. So let's move on. Let's head back to the lady for now and tell her that we've um, handed over that potion. It's probably quicker to go through. Whoa, jeez. Hi, bats. Wasn't expecting that. No chance. You okay, lady? Well, there's the rats here. What have you been doing while I've been gone? Health and heal. Are there any more rats? Is, is that all the rats? Okay, lady. What exactly is going on here? Health and healing are my specialties. This is a serious turn of events, Rag. Perhaps I've underestimated what's going on here. I ask for another favour of you. I hope it's not too much of an imposition, but there's another sick individual that needs healing. Arthur and Malus is out in the temple courtyard. The order notice won't let him come in. They've seen the increase in people requesting healing from the temple, and fear that allowing him access will only spread whatever disease it is he carries. Can you take this potion to him? Yes, I know. Please don't hate me. Oh, don't worry. We're fine with this. Just take the potion to him, and he should be somewhere outside the temple in the courtyard. Besides, I'd like to take a closer look at one of them, to see if I can really figure out what's going on in here. Now, I don't mind delivering cures to people. That's my kind of job, to be honest, as long as if I get to kill stuff in between. Whatever you want. Right, so who are we looking for again? We're looking for... Aphelin Malice. I've heard talk up at the temple, and it's not good. Yeah, I know, right? Bad disease going on. They won't let me in! I'm a sick man and the bastards won't let me in! Have some money. Also, here's a potion. What? Have they sent you out of a potion instead of letting me come in? Fine, whatever, I don't care. I'm just tired, sick of being sick. Just get me, give it me, will you? Well, at least someone around here isn't determined to let an old man die. I will just take this and go home. No sense in hanging around here. Have some money. Later, mate. Let's just go straight through our Malexia's oh, room. What may I do for Hi, you, Hi, babe. How are you my doing? Child. She still doesn't want to talk to me. I know she's my ex, but still, I expect some sort of response. Health and healing. <laughs> now there's guards down here. <laughs> Look, we're going to just end up being a big party here in the end. If you delivered the cure disease potion, I'd be grateful for if um, if you've done this favour. Thank you for aiding me. I'm afraid there's more serious work to be done now that I've determined the Crimson Plague is behind all this. 
I had to do quite a bit of research to find any useful information. It seems the disease was stamped out during the Second Age, but now it's resurfaced. I'm not sure how or why, I get the feeling it was us opening that tomb. But I know something must be done about it. It spreads easily and acts quickly. Now that, we, uh, now that you're one of the few people aware of what's really going on, I'm going to enlist your help in learning more about this reappearance of the Crimson Plague. I'd look into this myself, but I need to remain here in case of more victims come in for the treatment. I imagine the reasoning... I imagine that reasoning is becoming all too familiar with you, yes? Perhaps you could go check it out for me. I'd start by checking the sewers and tombs beneath here if I were you. The rats seem to be coming from there, and go through the temple's basement. It must be something there coming through us. Oh, it must be something they're coming into contact with. Almalexia right. Knows. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's us. I'm pretty sure we're the ones who caused this. Friends? Uh, what's going on here? Tsunami must speak with Rag. She has seen things. Oh, yes. Things that Rag needs to know. Quickly, before the guard wakes up. So you knocked the guard out, did you? Good work. I... I I admire that. Shunari snuck in and had to knock poor guard out. Guards do not like Shunari. They take her to jail if they see her, and then Shunari will die because she is sick. Rag must help Shunari, and then Shunari will help Rag. Yes, yes, Rag helps now. Shunari saw Rag go into tomb under temple. When Rag left, Shunari went in to see if the treasures were left, and then Shunari will say no more. She is sick and needs help. Rag will cure her of bad disease, and then Shunari will tell more. Hurry, hurry, before Shunari dies. Meet Shunari in Temple Gardens with spell or scroll. Shunari does not trust potions that could be poison. Go see Norel Andoran. Sure thing. Tell me about the guard. Shunari is sorry that she had to hurt poor man, but he will be fine. Do not tell him what happened, yes? Can we just cure you while you're here, or is this going to break the quest? It'll probably break the quest, let's not do it. Nope, oh, high ordinators knocked down. Shinori's weak needs to be cured, she cannot go upstairs. Oh, never mind, I thought she said she was going to hang out in the temple gardens. Wait, she is going to go to the temple gardens. Oh, that means beneath us. Right, okay. I'm pretty sure we have a cure disease spell. Yeah, cure common disease on other. Can we just cast this on you? What was that? Yep, there we go, that worked. Ah, Shinari feels much better, and now Shinari will tell Rag all about Gedna Relvo. Shinari has said that she watched Rag open tomb. Shinari has often wondered what treasure lies in tomb, but door is too heavy, Shinari cannot open it. So when Rag leaves, Shinari goes in for a look. She finds corpse in coffin, but corpse gets up and attacks. Poor Shinari can do nothing to fight it. It says it is Gedna Relvo, and has come to spread the Crimson Plague to all of Mournhold. Even though Shinari feels ill, she comes to find Rag for help. Oh, you did a good job. Bad disease it must be, for it makes poor Shinari feel weak and hurts her poor head. But Rag has made Shinari feel much better, so Shinari will not dwell on how Rag allowed the disease to spread by opening the Forbidden Tomb. We opened it, but you're the one who let her out, okay? We, we, we take equal parts of the blame here, I think. And now Brave Rag will go and find and kill Gedna Relvo. Shinari is scared once she catches bad disease and wants only to get away from Evil Witch. So Shinari does not see how Secret Passage in Tomb works, but Shinari will tell Rag what she has seen of it. Shinari does not know for sure how Passage works. She sees Gedna Relvo walk down ladder and up to the wall between two columns. Shinari looks away, and when she looked back, Nasty Lich was gone. Will Brave Rag try and enter Passage and kill Foul Lich? Of course we will. So then. Goes down a ladder and up to a wall between two columns. Thank you. But hi I'm guard. Alexia knows and sees. Is, you okay? I guess she really isn't supposed to be cured here. No, I haven't defeated her yet. I'll, I'll be there soon. Right, let's go do this then. I don't think it was this way. Let's double check anyway. Oh yeah, it's definitely not this way, never mind. I think it was the first area we went to, not the second. Yeah, it was definitely the first area. So how did we get there? I think it was this direction. Oh, we're in a fight. More rats. Mm, 
No, I don't think that was it. I, actually, yes, it was, wasn't it? Just trying to remember um, what the path was that we took when we were escorting that guy. Yeah, it was definitely this way. So there are two paths here. One of them um, will take us to the Temple Gardens. And that's the one we want to go to. Yep, here we go. Okay, let's find our way to the secret passage then. Oh, I don't think I noticed that corpse before. How are you doing? You doing okay? Shit and spear. Sadly, I thought that was going to be a fishing rod. That would have been funny. Alright, let's go back in here. Yeah, I guess we really should finish off what we started. Right, so we need to look for two pillars. I don't think these count as pillars. Right, that could be the ladder. Which means these would be the two pillars, and this should be the secret door. Oh, there we go, we stood on that, and it opened. I have opened the secret passage in Geldor Relvo's tomb. There is a hidden trigger on it for the floor. I'm pretty sure that that floor trigger wasn't here the last time we went in. Right, we, they broke our boots again. Oh dear, that might be the lich. Which means we don't get to heal. Weakling, you dare cross my threshold. You then will be the first to fall before my undead army sweeps across the land like a plague, cleansing it of your flesh. Die, mortal. Yet yeah, I was hoping to be able to um, repair our boots before we got in a fight with the Lich. Oh well. Right, so this is going to be a problem. Let's drain her of magic first. Seems like she'll just continually waste her spells. So let's wait until she runs at us. Actually, let's just start shooting her. That'll make more sense. Oh, jeez. That spell went through. Right, let's use the non-cheaty arrows for now. And then if, if she takes too long to kill, then we'll just use, um, we'll swap to the cheaty ones. We want to stay away from her, because we don't want to really take all this magic to the face. Even with our incredibly high magic resistance, this will still probably murder us. Well, this fight was far easier than I expected it to be. When I was double checking um, about the tribunal quests, I noticed that there's apparently a bug with this enemy that gives it way too much health. So apparently if you're really high level, then it's supposed to have like ridiculously hundreds of health or something like that, and it's basically impossible to kill it. But she died really quickly. The Robe of a Lich, so that's a new artifact for us. Let's put it on. There we go. Fancy. So we'll give this over to the um, museum like the other one. Now then, let's repair our boots and then put them back on. So let's use blinding speed spell. Right, let's put our boots on. And now let's sound to the intervention. 
I think that's everything. Yep, I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay, it looks like we're done. Now then, before we leave, I guess we should uh, reseal this door. Do we have a lock spell? I forgot if we have a bought one. I think it's called, um... What is it called? Yeah, there we go. Door jam. There we go. Put a lock on. That'll keep her inside if she ever comes back again. And let's see all this door as well before we leave. There we go. And now, no one will suspect a thing. We totally didn't go in there and accidentally awaken an ancient evil. That totally didn't happen. Right. Wait, I forgot. The quickest way is probably through um, Amalexia's place, isn't it? Hey, Come I dealt with a plague. Bathe in the light of my mercy. She, she doesn't care that I just saved her city. What a jerk. Foreigners. <laughs> What's your problem? Crimson Plague, with getting the Relville dead, perhaps we've stemmed the tide of this outbreak before it spread too far. I'll have the guards on the lookout for any more rats. There shouldn't be any left now. Mournhold owes you a great debt, whether it knows it or not. I cannot offer you much in a way of payment, but I can grant you the power to heal. I hope you will often find cause to use it. Let's go see if our good Kashyyyk friend is down here still. Oh no, she's not. Never mind. Try me. She might be hanging out in the temple gardens, but I'm not going to bother going down to find her. What is she? Alexia knows and sees. Well, I'd hope she does. So I want to get back on like the good side of our old wife. Let, let her see that we've been saving her city. Rather than just ignoring us every time we go to her because she's such a jerk. I am. Right, let's get out of here. So then, what quest have we got left? I guess... Oh yeah, let's start actually handing in some of the main ones for the, um... Royal Palace. More. Let's go upstairs and talk to the guy and give him the common tongue, uh, book. Hi, friend. Thank you for bringing me this copy of the Common Tongue. I believe this is indeed a source of the rumours. I see no source or evidence for this speculation, just vague falsehoods. Thank you, and well done. I'll mention your loyal services and exceptional qualities to King Helseth, and I think we might have further employment for you. For example, we lack sources of information in Almalexia's temple. Could you find me a temple informant? We need a source of information inside Amalexia's temple. There are rumours of discontent in the temple. Go to Amalexia's temple, look for someone discontented, listen sympathetically, and find out whether the temple is willing to accept King Helseth, or whether the temple plans to act against him. King Helseth joined the temple when he arrived in Morrowind years ago, but the temple is the enemy of the Empire, and King Helseth is an Imperial in every sense of the word. Now, will you help us find the informant? Yeah, sure. Long live the King! Yeah, whatever. Long live the king only until I can kill him. So we're just doing these Justice quests so that we can Nelson. finally get access to the king. Because if, he, if we go over here, this is his chambers. However, the door is locked and we can't get inside. So we need to do these quests to get access to him, and then Justice we'll murder him. Never sleep. Oh jeez. These guards are just going to stay here for the rest of the game probably now. Right, let's drink an... Um, actually, no, let's just drink a potion. I was going to go and equip the um, Sivy Amulet, but... May as well refresh our magic while we're here. Hi, friend. It's another perfect Do you know anything about the discontent in the temple? 
These are difficult times with much suffering. There are enemies all around. Yes, there is discontent, but our faith in our Alexia, mother of all, heals and sustains us. Let's just ask the um, few people we've already Alexia spoken to. Knows. Maybe she's right. Nope, not him. Our lady's blessings upon you, nope. faithful servant. Let's check with um, the lady we just helped out. Maybe she's willing to tell us some information. Health and healing are my specialties. Nope, not her either. Let's check for woman in the infirmary. Justice never sleeps. See, do you know about the discontent in the temple? Yes, yeah, she does. I'm a faithful believer, but our Alexia makes me uneasy. For the last 50 years, the tribunal stopped walking among us, stopped listening and speaking with us. This worries me and made me sad. Were our gods abandoning us? Were they growing weak? But since our Alexia has recently um, started walking among us again recently, I feel more worry, not less. Her face glows brightly with hope and power, but her words seem dark and bitter. So, there are three ways that we can handle this. We can just straight up ask her, we can listen patiently and sympathetically, or since we've done the main quest line of Morrowind, we can mention Mera Milo and the dissident priests. You are a friend of Mera Milo? Then I can speak freely. Helsaf has murdered King Lefren and stolen his crown. It does not matter that King Lefren was a fool. He was our fool. So long as the puppet king was a joke, we could all laugh and ignore him. Helsaf is not a fool, and no one is laughing. If Helsaf seeks Ernest to be king, then Almalexia and the temple are sworn Ernest to destroy him. It's another perfect day in Mournhold. Thanks, lady. So we will keep doing all of these quests for as long as it takes for us to finally get access to the king. So we might have to, um, butter him up a little bit. And do everything he wants us to do, but at least we have an end goal of killing him. Like, can you, can you please get out of the way? Okay, never mind, we're gonna have to go the long way around. It won. Right, I think there's an entrance through the Imperial Court, which should be here. No, that's the Legion Depot. No, here it should be. Yep, the Imperial Court. Now let's go upstairs. Justice. Whatever you want. Within reason. Right, here we go, throne room. Long live the king! Galesa Andronu speaks her mind, and from what it's, it sounds like, she seems sincere. You handled her well. The temple seems to recognize that King Helsef will not be content to be a puppet like King Lefren, and plans to act against us. Very good work. The king will hear of your loyal service. Now can you help us with another matter? King Helsef is concerned about possible disloyalty among the guards. It seems like everybody doesn't like the way he murdered his way up the ranks. Funny that. I've replaced many of the former king's guards with more reliable men, but I had to keep some experienced guards, and I can't be certain of their loyalties. I will pretend that you wish to join the royal guards, but your excuse for talking to the guards, sounding them out, and looking for evidence of disloyalty. If you find any hints of treason or evidence of disloyalty, report it back to me. Take no action, report to me, and I will judge what action seems appropriate. I'm not certain about any of the former king's guards. Evo Offeren, Ivulin Irano, and Illyri Eren, None of them are particularly clever, not stupid enough to omit treason, but perhaps not clever enough to hide any evidence of it. Right, so let's see if we can find any of those people. But this lady is right here who we were just talking about, you know that right? Well, hopefully you didn't hear anything. I don't care if Tania's Deltian thinks you're qualified, that's fine with me. How do I like being a guard? I'm new here, and haven't informed my opinion, but I know and trust Tania's deletion, and expect he'll be do right by me. Mention our Halu collections. Hmm, nothing wrong with House Halu. Not sure they're happy about King Helsef succeeding their King Lefren, but no point in hiding it from Tanlinius Deltian. He's bound to find out sooner or later, so you might as well tell him straight off. Thank you. Which of the other guards we were told to talk to? Were you one of them? 
Ask about King Helisef. It is an honour to serve. It is my honour to serve King Helisef and Queen Burzaya. That's right, just what I said. An honour. He doesn't seem to, uh, agree. Now then, where we want to go is the uh, Royal Guard chambers. See if we can find any evidence. Right, this isn't a place. Right, here we go. Mornhold. Now then. City of light. City of magic. Now the question comes. What can we steal without being spotted? Oh, nothing in there. Oh, wait. It's right here. Handwritten note. A curious copy of guard duty rosters from the past several weeks. The handwriting is tiny and almost illegible with frequent misspellings, but three names are always correctly spelled. Revelia Draylin, Yvolo Irano, and Illyria Aaron. And those watches when all three of the guards are on the throne room have been underlined twice. Just uh, unlock some people's doors while we're here. Oh, no, we're not doing anything, guard. Let's get out of there. Hi there. The Nine and the Empire, citizen. Have you found any evidence? Yes, I have. This is Avulia Narano's handwriting on the note you found. He notes for watches when Dralin, Arwen, and Irano are the only guards in the phone room. I believe I'll change the watch schedules to prevent that, and I'll need to keep a close eye on all three. Very shrewd work. You've brought me clear evidence of disloyalty among the guards. Now I need your help finding evidence of conspiracy against him. This guy has problems. The old King Halu supporters haven't accepted King Helseth's ascension to the throne with good grace. Maybe they think that another candidate, a Halu candidate for example, would be better. Maybe they have some plan to express such a preference. If so, I doubt that they would be candid about it. But maybe you should search Lefren Manor for documents, diaries, and other tangible evidence. This is a matter for you to study. Only the widow of a dead king, Ravinia Lefren, lives at the Lefren Manor now. There might be guards. Perhaps you should go and offer your condolences to the widow and have a look around. Sure thing. I'll never get this done. So we'll go and find this evidence, but we'll try and, uh not let anyone take Mortal. the fall for it, City. if possible. Because I am fully Mortal. up to make a conspiracy against taking him down. Let's see, what's the quickest way to get there? Probably this way. No, we need to go down here. No, wait, it's up here. For some reason I was thinking I had to go to the um, bazaar then. But no, clearly it's God's Reach, we've already been there. Seven virtues. Well, if I had the drakes, I could dress like that. Are you talking about me? That's yeah, quite a nice look, isn't it? Shiny robe now. We're going to donate this to a museum shortly, though, so you can have a look at it whenever you like. Now then, can you please turn around? We must endure our sorrows. Thank you. Now then, time to steal this handwritten letter. Let's also close the door. And let's use... Chameleon Max. <laughs> handwritten letter addressed outside to the Honourable Cousin, Thorvan Burano, to be delivered in haste. Thorvan, I cannot agree. I am a merchant and have no skill at arms. You are a noble and in your prime were proven on practice and tournament grounds. Though in truth you have never fought a duel and have few gifts as a liar, no one can doubt that Hlogar the Bloody's aptitude and enthusiasm for mayhem, but he is not a subtle man, most suited for a brawl or a battlefield than an assassin's role. And we cannot trust the Dark Brotherhood. Helsuf owns them. They promise discretion, but their promises are worthless. I am afraid we must approach the Morag Tong. I agree with you, they will probably refuse, but at least they can be trusted to be discreet. If in the end we are forced to choose among ourselves, I fear it must be you and you'll have to wreck our brains for some plausible pretext to get you near Hel Helseth's presence. 
I am disappointed though, not surprised at the lack of public outcry over Arvin's murder. The popular sentiment seems to be to avoid personal risk and accept Helseth. It's short-sighted but understandable. I have noted however that the writer of a common tongue is sympathetic to our cause, clever and eloquent. He may be able to sway opinion. We should try to identify this fellow and try to bring him into our councils. Bedor Allen. There you go, she didn't notice. Excellent. Let's get out of here before she notices it's missing. Now where did that come from? So then let's make our way back. So it is a shame that we have to hand over this evidence of conspiracy. But I guess they should have been a little bit more subtle about it. Or just blunt like us. I mean, we are bluntly just going to murder the king as soon as we get access to him. It wants we don't have to work on a conspiracy with other people because we're just going to handle it all ourselves. Yep, I found evidence of conspiracy. This letter you found is very interesting. Thorvin Barno, Hogar the Bloody and Berdo Allen are obviously conspiring to assassinate King Heliseth. This is treason, punishable by death. I will immediately draw up wits for their execution. You would do the king a great service if you were to execute these traitors. Yeah, of course, we'll take care of that. Excellent, when, you're, when you've executed the traitors, report back to me. Now then, tell me about where to find these people. He's a faithful temple-going noble, look for him around the temple. I don't know where to find him. Like a lot of those Nord lots, he may be cheap to pay for lodging. Try looking below in the sewers. And he has no idea where Battle Allen is. The Nine and the Empire. So, we have accepted killing them ourselves because we are just going to let oh, them go. Yeah. Because we kind of believe that um, their side in this story. We're going to kill the king, so we're not going to execute these people for trying to do the same thing. I believe the guy's over here. I think that's him. Really? Say your piece, churl, and be done. I don't know what you're talking about. This is obviously some mistake. So we could denounce him and execute him, or we can warn him and let him escape. Oh, gods, thank you. Blessings of a nine and arms to Vivi and everything else you like. Thank gods I have a mark set. I'll be gone instantly, and I assure you, I will never betray your mercy. So there might be questions with how we haven't managed to execute any of these people, but at the same time, we'll just blame someone else for it. Alright, let's ask around and see if anyone knows where this last person I, uh, is. Ah, welcome. I shall. What is it, friend? Greetings and welcome, Sarah. Are you in the market for trained scribs and rats? I think you'll find my prices quite reasonable. And my rats and scribs are fine as pets or beasts of burden, or a tasty little morsels. Yes, when I was a lad, I dreamed of being the greatest scrib and rat trainer in the world, and given the limited capabilities of scribs and rats, I flatter myself that I've achieved my goal. These creatures are priceless, but since I find myself unexpectedly short on cash, I'm willing to sell them off, my superbly trained scribs and rats. That's right, you can have a scrib for the low, low price of 20 gold, or a rat for 25. They are trained to follow you and attack whatever attacks you, or you can buy the exclusive pack rat for 100 gold. They not only follow in fight, but they also carry small burdens. And in a prince, you've got fresh meat on the hoof, whenever you need it. What do you say? Let's buy ourselves a scrib. Thank you, Wood Elf. Here's your very own scrib. He'll follow you around right behind you wherever you go. Come back anytime if he needs another one. A hard judge. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Let's buy a rat. Here's your very own rat. Thank you. And finally, let's buy ourselves a pack rat. Here is your very own pack rat. He'll follow you around right behind you wherever you go, and he'll carry small burdens for you. But take good care of him. They don't grow on trees, you know. Here we go. We got ourselves a posse now. Yeah. Can we tell them to wait for us? Oh, we can tell this guy to wait. <laughs> squeak, stay or come. Come, squeak. And Packrat. So we can share stuff with him like we could with our other friend. Come with us. Yeah. This is our posse, going to follow us to the ends of the earth. Well, until they die anyway. Now then, let's ask around about this guy. 
May all speak well of you, Sarah. Um, who's the other guy we need? The Nord, the big mean one, a Halu retainer, I think. Isn't he the one who's living rough down in the West Sewers? Where are the West Sewers? Do I look like someone who knows the sewers? Sorry. Didn't mean to insult you. Um, where's the last guy we need? Nope, I've suddenly forgotten. Okay, never mind. I already know where they are, I was just hoping to have an NPC tell me about them. So then, let's ask you if you happen to know about them. He's a bookworm. Try a bookseller. That's where I'd look. Well, oh, jeez, they move fast. Okay, we're not going to have any problem with these not following us. Whatever Either. you want, within reason. I'm here about evidence of conspiracy. Oh dear, I knew this would happen. Please have mercy on me. You have sworn yourself an honorable. Sorry, you have sw you have shown yourself to be honorable, Wood Elf. I thank you. I will absent myself from Mournhold immediately, and I would die before I betray your generosity. And now, if you'll excuse me, I believe an Elm Civi intervention will swiftly deliver me out of peril. Well, actually, that will take you back to the temple, mate. But never mind. Right, let's get past the rats. Come on, guys. Well, well, may all speak well, aren't you? Right, so now we need to head over to, um... What's it called? God's Reach again. Right, that goes to the temple. Well, so while we're here, let's talk to this lady. May all speak well of you, Sarah. Hello, Wood Elf. No time to talk, I'm afraid. There's much work to be done. Yes, much to do. No time for silly fancies like drinking, dancing... Oh, what well, I wouldn't give to meet someone new. Have a thousand gold. Yes, that's right. Believe it or not, I have no intention of working here when I came to Mournhold. It's quite a sob story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sure. Well, it's mostly my fault, really. I grew up in a small village to the south of Morrowind. They cared for me a great deal and only wanted the best for me. But when they arranged my marriage to a wealthy nobleman, I couldn't take it. He was disgusting and I wanted nothing to do with him. So I ran away and ended up here in Mournhold. I was convinced that I'd be able to find the man of my dreams, only it hasn't worked out that way. I was foolish about it, to be sure. I never considered that I needed money to survive on my own. I was determined, though, not to go crawling back on, crawling on my back to the village and beg forgiveness from my parents and that loathsome man. I'd make it on my own, but only then I would, would I contact my parents and let them know where I was. So I started working, and now it's all I do. I never have any time to meet anyone. Oh, let me know if you meet any nice single men, will you? Sure thing. So then, we're not going to do this quest right now because there is a chance of failure with it. You okay? But we'll get it started like that and then we'll go and solve it at the end of the part. Just so we don't have to redo loads of stuff if it fails. Oh, our scrib has got lost. Oh well. I think the scrib lasted longer than our trait than our bought um, hired help bodyguard guy, who we gave all that equipment to. He just vanished almost immediately. Right up here is the sewers. I wonder if the enemies have respawned. They have. Okay, we might lose our rats here. Come on, rats. Follow me. So I believe that the Scrib is able to paralyze opponents. So the Scrib could actually potentially be a really good ally. Ah! No, don't attack my rat. I need to remember to use my bow more often. Because we have level up, we have max level long blade, but our marksman is still kind of low. So we should really use that more often. Let's see, what arrows do we have left? 
Let's use our glass arrows. Oh no, they killed my rat. You jerk. Oh, poor ratty. Oh, let's take him with us. So the pack rat stays away from the fight, it looks like. So he's less likely to get murdered. Come on, ratty. You can make it. Good boy. So we need to find which way leads to that guy. Wait, who's that over there? I could have sworn I saw like a human. No, it must have just been the light. I think it's up here we need to go. Right, these goblins are still dead. That's helpful. Man, this, this pack right is so fast. I love it. The guy is down like a cave, and I think the cave was here. Yes, here's where the cave is. Excellent. Wow, the pack rat is right behind us. This is amazing. We're never going to have to worry about um, staying behind unless we go for a swim. I wonder if we can have multiple pack rats. Hi, friend. Ah, you bring good fortune with you. Welcome. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? Warn you and let you escape. I don't get it. Don't you want to fight? Oh, wait, I see. You're a good guy. Sure, I understand. So now I gotta get lost fast, right, pal? Okay, time to use that old recall amulet. So long, pal, and thanks. No problem. Now, will you come home with me if I recall? Or we'll use, um, divine intervention. Come with us, pack rat. Of course, we don't have the uh, mana for it. Come on. Did you come with us? Good to no. see you again, friend. Okay, I guess our pack rat is now lost to the ages down in the sewers along with our bodyguard. Never mind. It was. We're gonna end up with just God. like a huge selection of NPCs just stuck in the sewers by the end of this at this rate. Long live the king. Have you heard? The plaza is under attack. Enchanted machines have burst into the plaza Brunzi Dorum. We're they're killing everyone. We need your help. Go. Right, so this is what I mentioned at the start of the episode. That um, we had 24 hours until the next quest started. Justice never We managed to do quite a lot within those 24 hours. Well, let's go and save Mournhold. These are like cyborg creatures, but like part of the castle. They look cool. I really hope I don't accidentally hit one of the guards. Right, let's find the next fight. Any more? No, it looks like that's all of them. Let's go talk to our Nord friend, see what he has to say about this. Look, I don't know what's going on in this place. Monsters bursting up from the ground, guards running around everywhere. This is lunacy. You'll notice I'm not blaming this on a witch, and it's still too hot around here. Well met. I love that guy. Right, I think we did a good job. Mornhold. City of Light. Fedra's heart City must of be told magic. of his attack. Go get yourself to the temple and let him know. Mornhold. His attack of must light. be reported. We all City stay here and guard against further attacks. Go tell Tanius Delton. Yeah, so each of these guards tells us to go to the other faction's leader. So they broke out from this statue, it looks like. 
There's now a big hole there. Well, let's make our way back. No way, this is completely the wrong place. I even looked at the name and then decided, yep, that's a good idea. Let's go to the temple. Let's tell him about it. It's very foggy today. I prefer this guy. From what I hear, there's trouble at the I've heard about the attacks on the city. Good that you reported them to me, though. I've sent some high ordinators to deal with the situation. You can help me in another way. I want you to investigate the disturbance. These attacks are not an affront to the, um, are an affront to the city and to the lady. We must learn more about them. I understand a passage has opened up in the plaza that leads to some dreamer ruins. The memorial statue has been destroyed, and an entrance has been discovered in the rubble from which the creatures emerged. Perhaps these things are a dreamer origin. I have been told that they look at least partially mechanical. Investigate these ruins and report your findings to me immediately. Sure thing. Let's also go report this to um, the Royal Guard guy as well. Mon. Right, here we go. Justice. Oh no, don't get stuck on the stairs. Mon. Okay, good. <laughs> we, beat these, we beat the guards to the stairs, so we managed to get upstairs. I understand that you reported this attack to, of the city to Fadris Heller. I agree you should investigate the disturbance in the ruins of Barm's Armstrand and seek out the source of the attacks. You may report your findings to me. This is really a matter for the Empire to deal with. I guess he doesn't like that guy. He's the goddess's lapdog. She snaps, he barks. Do as you were told. Investigate the ruins of a dreamer city that have been unearthed in the Plaza Brinzi Dorum. When you have learned about the source of these attacks, report back to me. This is a matter for the Empire to handle. Right, so let's talk about our jobs. Froven Rolalo, Hole in the Beggar, and Belda Arlem have escaped. All three? There must be a leak here in the palace. Well, you've done the best you could. You have my thanks. I'll tell King Halasa that you tried. And now we'd like your help finding the anonymous writer of the Common Tongue. We'd like you to find the anonymous writer of a common tongue and persuade him to stop printing such lies about King Helseth. When we make the official inquiries, people just look stupid and assure us that we have no idea what we're talking about. We think that you have, may have better luck, particularly if you approach the less than reputable citizens. Persons who place profit above honour. Lies, but he is a poisoner. I take your point. King Helseth is a skilled alchemist and student of bodily processes. But it won't do to have people referring to our sovereign as a common poisoner. That's one way to, to like describe a poisoner. He is not a poisoner, he is a skilled alchemist and student of bodily processes. Fine, I'll do this mission. First we want you to ask around and discover who is writing these lies. Then we want you to find him and persuade him to stop printing lies. The manner of the persuasion is left to your discretion. You will be discreet, of course. We don't want anyone hearing about us threatening the time-honored imperial traditions of encouraging free speech. I'll take care of it. Long live the king. Of course, we respect free speech. That's why we're going to politely um, and silently Justice inquire for somebody to stop speaking their mind. Right, you're a writer, aren't you? Do you know anything? Good about to see it? you again, friend. Oh. I was just doing a little writing. Yeah, have you been writing anything about the um, the common tongue? Don't know anything about it. It's just one of life's little mysteries, I guess. Let's see, we... This will probably be the quickest way to get there. Let's make our way to the Great Bazaar. And let's ask here. Let's ask the, bus the bookseller. Maybe they know. If I were looking around for an anonymous writer, I'd talk to someone who deals in writings, books and scrolls for example, perhaps a person with a shady reputation, like a pawnbroker. Hey Ten Tongs, tell me about this anonymous writer. Here's what I've heard, I've heard that the guy who writes for Common Tongue is someone named Trellis Varis. Now this is not a name known to me personally, 
I make it a habit to know the names of people in Mournhorde personally, and this guy I do not know, and other people I talk to also do not know, which is noteworthy in itself. I make the guess that this guy is well hid and wants to stay well hid, but where did I first hear about this guy? In the Craftsman's Hall, so maybe that is one place to look. I don't know him, I just know of him. Well then, let's go back to the Craftsman's Hall. Not bad for an amateur. Thank you. He was just respecting our um, really terrible performance in the play in the last part. Alright, let's just take this shortcut. Let's see what loot they have. Venomous Fabricant Elixirs, fortify speed for 10 seconds. They're very heavy, so we can't really take these with us, though. But I guess we may as well use one of them. Now then, let's ask our good friend if he knows anything about this. Need custom armor? I'm the one you want. Thank you so much for sending Fedra in my way. He's a tremendous help around the place, even if I can't ever get him to shut up about the blasted pillows. Now, can I interested you in my custom armor? Do you know anything about this anonymous writer? No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, that was very blunt. Let's check here. Keep out. Right, sadly, this guy is now there, so it's going to be hard for us to break in. We probably should have done this before. Right, we can do it from here without being seen. There we go, no one saw that. So we could steal some raw glass and ebony, but I think if we do that, um, we might end up with legal trouble when we try and create some armor. Hi, friend. We print the truth. The straight truth. What are you doing in here? And may I suggest that you make your answer very clear? Because this office and what we do in here is a well-kept secret, and we wish to keep it a secret, even if it means that you do not he leave here alive. So there are several ways to deal with this quest. We could save a funny line, we are looking for the Eye of Argonia. We have enough reputation and charisma for him to accept this, and he'll just laugh at it. However, we don't get a very good reward if we do that. He'll just attack us, I think, if we say one of these two. I'm just an honest working burglar and I want no trouble. Instead, let's say that we want him to stop printing, the tr the pr printing lies about King Heliseth. I haven't printed lies about King Heliseth. In the common tongue, I've only printed the truth and I intend to keep on printing the truth, the common tongue, unless you think you can stop me. So, again, we don't want to kill him, otherwise he won't get any reward. We could give him a very little bit of money as a bribe, but that's probably a bad idea, or we can say that we're going to donate 3,000 gold to the Widows and Orphans Fund. Hmm, you're a shrewd judge of character. I am a man of principle and will not hold with my common tongue for payment of gold, but I know the benefits of gold, and they're going to be used for good causes. Very well, I will not discuss King Heliseth in the common tongue. You have my word, and I'll take your 3,000 gold and will contribute it to the Widows and Orphans Fund. And now if you'll excuse me, we'll have to relocate immediately, now that our secret office is spoiled. There we go. Doing that will give us the best reward from the quest. Oh, let's talk to, uh, his new apprentice. Where is he? Oh, there you are. Anytime, friend. I'm right here. I like your new look. Hey there, Rag. I got a job. Thanks so much for recommending this place to me. It's hard work, but I just imagine that every blast plate or shield I turn out is just a thin, hard pillow made of metal, and I can get through the day just fine. Here, I don't have much money, but I can offer you some tools that might come in handy. Also, talk to my boss, Balls. He's pretty happy about having a new apprentice, and will give you some good deals. Thank you. Now we're over encumbered. Okay, let's use those um, hammers we just got. Okay, we can move again now. Let's just repair them. It's, it's much. A, it's a much better idea to just repair them with an actual blacksmith because we're terrible at it. Need custom armor. Right, so then, what's left? Um, let's go back, Divine Intervention. Just 
justice never sleeps. And let's go hand you in this quest. Oh no, quickly. Good. We beat the guard to the stairs a second time. The king's health to you, Sarah. Right, let's talk about our official matters. So, Trolls Varus is an anonymous writer of a common tongue, and Trolls Varus gave you his word that he would not discuss King Helseth in the common tongue. And you gave him 3,000 gold to contribute to the Widow's and Orphan Fund. And I expect 3,000 gold to cover my expenses. Yes, a small sacrifice in the service of my king. Let's, uh, brown nose a little bit just so we get even closer to the king to murder him. We place great trust in your judgement, and we are very satisfied with your service and sentiments. You shall have the 3,000 gold to cover your expenses, and a rich reward and great honour besides. I give you the King's Oath Blade, exactly like those used by the Royal Guard. Only those sworn to the King's service and tested by great rituals may use them. They bear deadly curses that kill thieves and traitors. And there's one last official matter. Go to Lazy Bearer Zanaya. She's asked to speak with you. So we now have King's Oath. That's a very heavy sword. Let's check it out. So it's a Daedric quality sword. Long blade cast when strikes, damage health, paralyze, and fire damage. That is a very good sword. However, that's not the one we want. We're going to get a good sword upgrade soon. Now then, let's recall out of here. Or rather, I'm civil intervention. Right, we're over encumbered. Let's drop the um, King's Oath sword. And now let's go and hand in the um, museum artifacts. So he told us to go and speak to the Queen, but actually we can't do that yet. We can only do that after we've explored the Dreamer Ruins for some reason. So we've done all the main quests of it's this expansion so far. It's perfect day in Mournhold. Hi lady, we are looking to sell you the, um, where are they? The Mace of Slurring. Yes, it's rather an odd piece from what I've gathered. It was crafted near the end of the Second Age by Kaina, a slightly deranged Ultima Weaponsmith and Enchanter. He had a rather warped sense of humour and apparently delighted at the thought of producing opponents to a gibbering mess before crushing them to death. The mace has admittedly seen little use. Do you wish to part with it? I can offer you 10,000 gold. Thank you, Rag. I'll take it up to uh, a special place in our museum. Somewhere upstairs, perhaps. Somewhere dark as well. And finally, the robe of a lich. Information is scarce at best when it comes to this artifact. Some have said it was pulled from a lich when it was defeated. Others say it was developed by an evil mage who wanted the power of a lich without the drawbacks. Either way, it is a powerful item indeed. Do you wish to part with it? I can offer you 11,000 gold for it. Splendid. I must say I feel more comfortable with this in the museum's collection than I would knowing it was somewhere out in the world. There we go. A hard judge, but fair. Let's see where this she new stuff got put down. She's a hard woman, all right. right. The Mace of Slurring is here. She said she would put it upstairs, but she actually put it downstairs. It drains speechcraft on hit. Trust in gods and just. Right, there's the robe of a lich next to Stendenar's hammer. The Lord's will be done. Trust Did in gods and just. So we've given if over a most few of the artifacts words can now. Help, I'd be happy yeah. to talk. So then, right now, we're currently sitting at. I'm trying to think of which quest we haven't done yet. We haven't finished off the uh, matchmaking. But the game's probably going to crash while we're doing that because we have to. We might have to load a few times and we also have to spend a few days waiting. Which is something that has previously Justice crashed the game, which was seems. fun. And we've done everything here except for collecting the Dreamer stuff. We might find that when we're down exploring those Dreamer ruins. And other than that, I think we've done with all of the um, side quests now. Which is excellent. Oh, I forgot we've lost our robe. Let's put a new robe on. Um, let's put my favourite robe back on. Or at least this is one of my favourites. I'm a fan of this one. And this one. 
as well as our classic, the one we started the game with. I love that one as well. So let's make our way to um, the plaza. So we've now been told to go and explore this place, which is going to be what we do next. So this is the ladder, this will take us down to Bam's armor shend. So now these statues of uh, Marion's Dagon and Amalexia are totally ruined. And you know what, I'm fine with that because our ex-wife is kind of treating us a bit like a jerk at the moment. The right deal. We all profit. I agree. And on the note of the right deal, let's talk about women. Adventuring, fame, women, it's all pointless. Are you sure about that? Bah, women. There's no happiness to be found. No lasting happiness anyway. It's all a sham. Oh, I didn't always think so. I had a wife once and was madly in love with her. But then my foolishness took her away, and now here I am, bitter, alone, and tired of life. I'll have little else to do with women, that's for sure. That's what it was, alright. The folly of youth, her dreams, aspirations. I foolishly followed them and took my wife to Vorenfell for what was supposed to be a great adventure. I paid for my foolishness, paid in full. Unfortunately, my wife was made to pay as well. She caught the blight shortly after arriving, and her frail constitution couldn't handle it. I lost her to that damn disease, and it ruined me. No one could replace her. None of the women I've ever known could ever replace her. What of it, Wood Elf? You think that there's someone who could ever compare to my Drowser? What about Marina Gilneth? Who? Marina Gilneth? I don't know her. Don't particularly care to either, but fine. If it will get you to leave me alone, then I'll go and meet her. It'll be a waste of time, though. Well, I don't agree so. Let's go and have a chat with her and tell her that we found someone. So there are three possible suitors for this woman. And we're going to pick the one who gives us the best reward. And who also, to be honest, makes the best husband. May all speak well of you, Sarah. Hi, Marina. Yep, I've met someone for you. Oh, have you met someone, Rag? I have to tell you up front that I'm very apprehensive about all of this. I'm taking a big risk here, not to mention that I need to leave work for a bit. So you better be right about this. If you found someone who's all wrong for me, I'll simply never forgive you. You sure you want me to go through this? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, what's his name? Suno Hallas. Suno Hallas, you say? Hmm, I think I've heard that name before, but I don't remember where. Whew, okay. I'm really trusting your judgement, Rag. Tell him to meet me at the Winged Gra two days from now. I hope he's nice. I don't... I don't think I know him. He's a nice man, right? He must be, otherwise you wouldn't be recommending him. So this guy owns a store over here. He's a, he's a trader in Mournhold, so I think this guy's going to make a good husband. Yeah, let's talk about women. Now what? Is this about Marina Gilneth woman again? Can't you just leave me enough well enough alone? Why must you continue to pester me? I don't know why I'm even discussing this. There's no way this is going to work. It'll just end up in a heartbreak. Oh, very well. I'll go and meet her. What about her, Rag? You do think that she's... You think that um, you have some brilliant words of wisdom to impart on me? So we have a choice here which will make um, this more successful or less successful. We could tell him not to act depressed and try to be optimistic. You might surprise yourself. We could tell him just to be yourself. Or we could tell him that stories about your late wife would show how compassionate you are. Talk to her at length about this. That would be a really bad idea. So even though just being yourself is general good advice, let's tell him to be optimistic. You might surprise yourself because he's really down on his luck at the moment. I, I guess you're right. I can't live in the past forever. And Marina certainly doesn't, want to, doesn't deserve that type of attitude. Thank you. So, let's go and wait for two days. Or three days, rather, because obviously they're going to meet for a day. And wait for this to all blow over. Let's go find somewhere to rest. Let's go right in the um, bed at God's Reach. See the temple courtyard. Yeah, let's go this way.
Justice. Okay, let's just hang out at the pub for a few days. We deserve a break anyway. Hello. Hi there. Can I have a bed? You'll be ten gold for the rest of the day. Sure thing. Very well, the bed's yours. You'll find the room on the bottom floor, the north end of the bar. Alright, I'm intrigued. Go ahead. Right, here it is. Okay, let's rest for 24 hours. And let's rest again. And let's rest for a third time. Okay. Now let's go and see if they finished with their date. Here, Very lady. Nice. I stayed I in like bed for a little company. bit too long, what so can I do for you? have a hundred gold. How do now, I think they should be finished. Yep, they're not here, so hopefully their date went successfully. Let's have a look. Put our rags back on. And um, I guess for the time being, let's put on this robe. It suits our pauldrons. We probably shouldn't be running around in rags right now. Oh, did it work? Yes, well, I guess I have to rethink my opinion on a lot of things, don't I, Rag? Oh, it sounds like that was a success. Let's talk to you about uh, Marina Gilnef. Rag, I don't know what to say. Marina is just what I needed in my life. But without your help, I'd have been too blind to see it. Thank you so much. I, I know it's wrong to offer you something, as if it's a payment. But I want you to take this. It's sort of valuable, I guess, except for no one has ever wanted it. And, well, just to take it off me, or something, I don't know. I'm not really good at this sentimental stuff. We got the bipolar blade. You have a question. Oh, now we're over-encumbered, though. Alright, let's drop something here. We don't really want these court ball barrows, to be honest. No, we're still over encumbered. Let's drop all of these rings. Here, you can have rings to marry her with. Justice never. Hey, she's up here. Hi, a Marina. A good man is hard to find. In you always get the other kind. Oh, I don't think so anymore. There you are, Rag. I have to thank you for helping me find Sona Hallis. Oh, he's such a sweet man. At first, his attitude was a little off-putting. I felt badly about his wife and a little awkward too. But as we talked, I really got to know him. He's just so kind. He's had some bad experiences, but I know he can work through them. I just can't thank you enough. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So these two are now getting along nicely, which is perfect. And also, we got the bipolar blade. So this is another artifact that we can give to the museum. So let's go do that. Also, let's ask about um, the latest rumors, because I think there's another quest we haven't done yet. I hear the situation is under control, but you were there, I guess. I've heard it was pretty terrible. I believe if we ask about the correct people here, then we can get ourselves another quest. Greetings, Ward Elf. Perhaps you'd like to hear the latest rumours. Have you heard? A terribly powerful and evil wizard, something or other Velus, I think they said, has taken up residence nearby. At the bar on the other night, they were talking about the strange lights and sinister laughter late at night. I'll be on my toes if I were you. I bet this wizard will try and make a display of his power soon. Well, let's check inside the magic shop, see what's going on. Hi guys, how you doing? How can I help? I'll do what I can. Time to talk, I've got a few minutes. Can you tell me about this guy we just heard about? Maybe not. Yes, we are the Nerevar. Who put that there? Or the Nerevarine, rather. Okay, for some reason I thought that the uh, quest was in here. Maybe it's not. Never mind. Greetings, fair citizens of Mordhold. I am the great, renowned, respected, and feared wizard, Ovis Velas. In the coming weeks, you shall see more and more of me as I bring this city to its knees. But for the moment, Allow me to demonstrate my power as one of your hapless countrymen. You there. Yes, you, you ugly wood elf. Prepare yourself to meet my wrath. Well, thanks for picking me because I can survive you. 
<coughs> oh, that was easy. Today, Ovis Velas magically appeared before me, announced he was going to put on a display of his power, then attacked me. Oddly enough, he went down far too easily and scarcely harmed me. I wonder what this could mean. A worn key. Now, oh, where's that guy who uh, we talked to? I saw your fight with that wizard. That certainly was interesting, as I expected with all the rumours of how powerful and evil he was, but it would be tougher than he appeared. Well, he did say his name was Velus, right? Well, there's a Velus Manor in God's Reach. Perhaps checking it would be would shed some light. But much needs a light to this mystery. Well, we're heading over to God's Reach anyway. I thought he was inside the place, but he was actually outside, so that took me by surprise. Oh, let's buy some more pets. Because all of our pets have kind of got lost or died. Yeah, can we can we have more, please? All right, let's have another scrib. Let's have another rat. And let's have another pack rat. Thank you. There we go. We got we got our passe back. Let's get out of here. Come on, guys. Yeah, the scrib is a bit slower, so that's how we lost it last time. Come on, Scrib. <laughs> that Scrib is just not meant to move this fast. The way his little legs just move. It's so cute. As well as the rats, obviously. The rats just, like, jump around like flies or something. Right, come on, guys. I like travelling around in my posse. It's just a pity that we don't have um, our guy who got lost underground anymore. Because he, him following us along with these guys would have been great. Come on. I believe this is Velus Manor, isn't it? Yes. So this place was locked and previously empty. On one of the failed recorders we did when the game crashed. So let's see if anyone's in here now. I think we're allowed in without being uh, told off. Yes, we are. Good. Okay, let's see who's inside. Well, our posse has joined us to take this guy down. Salutations, Rag. So nice of you to join me in my humble abode. I was all prepared to offer you a nice drink and a bite to eat before we got down to business. But you are late in coming, and I don't appreciate being kept waiting. So business it shall be. I can sense you've already met the acquaintance, my unfortunate brother. You will die. Yeah, Sovis always did like to take credit for my exploits. Too bad that this time, in trying to become my doppelganger, it would appear he went too far. I understand your position, Rag. You have defend you have to defend yourself, but I almost just ask was to ask you to understand mine. I have to avenge my brother. Thus a duel is called for. And there is no time like the present to prepare yourself. Thy doom is imminent, and I have other matters to attend to. Oh no! No, oh, that's a being attacked. Oh, he's dead. Oh no. Our poor rats and Scrib. They stood no chance. Let's see, a glass jinx blade. Flame mirror robe. That's very expensive. Sadly, it's not a constant effect robe, though. But I guess we'll wear it for now. Now we're overweight. We need to drop something. What can we drop? I guess we don't need the Shuzama with us. We were planning to use that to kill um, Gaynor by the temple, that super boss, but we didn't need it. I have killed Gavo Velas and his summoned minions. May their scourge never threaten Mournhold again. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'll take you with me. Come on, come follow me. Right, so I believe that's everything. Let's go and hand in these new artifacts we picked up. 
So, was it just the bipolar blade? I think we've handed in the other already. Yeah, we can't hand in Merrin's razor, sadly. Um, this, for some reason, isn't counted as one of the museum artifacts. I thought it was, along with the Mask of Clevicus Vial, but that wasn't either. Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. The Bipolar Blade. Legend has it that a nobleman sank his fortune into creating a blade of supreme power. Two smiths on opposite ends of Tamriel created each half of a blade, unaware of the other, with the hope that no one man save the owner of a blade would know its true power. Unfortunately, the smiths were not given enough instruction and created hearts with enchantments that completely negated each other. Do you wish to part with it? I can offer you 20,000 gold. Very well, it will take up a place in our collection, likely a place towards the back. Thank you. No, nope, that's not it. Let's see, where is the bipolar blade? I forgot to check the enchantments on it. I think it's upstairs. A hard judge, unfair. Try me. Ah, here it is, bipolar blade. Ah, I see, it's a long blade. I'm not going to steal this stuff. Will be done. Please be quiet. See to it. I'm trying to... I'm trying to talk about museum artifacts, guys. I'm not going to steal them. I'm the one who donated them. Right, the Bipolar Blade. Frenz frenzy Humanoid and Calm Humanoid. Yeah, so that just negates itself like it says. Well, it looks pretty cool, though. The two halves definitely look interesting. Because you can tell that it obviously is made by different people. It looks like one half is, um... It's almost like Deidric, I think. It looks almost Deidric um, with all the spikes. The other side, I don't know, maybe Ebony, I suppose? Well, let's get out of here. We're done now. Welcome to the more. Let's go get ourselves some new pack rats. I wonder if we can have multiple of each. Let's see how many rats we can have following us. Probably a bad idea and I'll crash the game if it does work. <laughs> Hopefully the game limits us to one of each. Hi, I, I sort of lost your rats again. Can we have multiple? Sorry, Wood Elf, I don't have any more in the stable and it takes a while to train them. Tell you what, check with me later and I'll see if what can be done. Right, it must be because we still have one with us. Oh, let's get our passe back. There we go. Welcome back, guys. Let's see if our other scrib is still over here, where we lost him earlier. He is. Hi, scrib. Welcome back. I guess we can have multiple then, we just have to wait. Right, so now we've done all of the um, side quests that are available to us, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, the Dreamer stuff, but we'll wait until we've uh, been to the next area for that. Hi guys. Oh, I like this posse already. Right, we want to drop stuff because we're about to head into um, a new dungeon. And we want to bring a lot of stuff with us. Let's drop Merrin's razor. Let's drop most of these arrows, because we're not going to use most of them. They're too powerful. See, we have 151, don't we? Let's drop um, 101. Oh, we had 52, never mind. Actually, let's drop some more. We really don't need all of these. Yeah, we'll just take 10 with us because they're way too powerful. Like, it's kind of cheaty to use them, so we'll just use them if we just want to, like, have some fun at some point. Actually, with that said, let's take more. <laughs> I changed my mind already. We'll keep 50 with us. I should probably have bothered to count, but 
We got there eventually. That's what matters. Right, we'll drop these. We don't really need to sell them yet. Yeah, we're going to use these darts. They're also really powerful, but at the same time we have barely any of them, so we may as well throw them at things. Alright, we drop the Daedric Longbow. It has 2 out of 50 attack. Yoriel's bow also has 2 out of 50. This can have a higher enchant put onto it compared to the Yoriel's bow, though, but we'll keep this since it's lighter. And we're not enchanting anything yet. Now then, what else can we drop? Let's drop the skewer, because otherwise we'll just eventually get in a problem when we can't trade to someone. See, we have to be weighed down by something big. It's probably the hammers, but I really want to keep those with me. I guess we'll keep ten of them for now. Put down these scores. Okay, this will probably do for now. We're still overweight and we're carrying a lot of stuff that doesn't need to be dropped. But at the same time, it's just going to take ages to do that. And it's not very entertaining to watch. Come on, guys. We're going to go visit a Dreamer Ruin together. It'll be fun. Where is the ladder? It's that side. Okay, so we'll go down there in the next part. For now, let's just rest here yeah, with our familiar. pets. No, no, you're supposed to... Please stop. Right, good. <laughs> okay, see you next time. If a few words can help, <laughs> you, you like I'd my be pets. Happy to talk. Do you like my pets, Ordinator? He, he's looking at them. Oh my god, these scripts are so annoying. Ah, uh, good night.